Hi, I'm Ellen and I'm a second year pharmacy student at Cardiff University. I chose study pharmacy because not only is it a scientific course, but it's also got a very clinical and practical aspect to it in that we get to apply what we've learned in seminars and lectures to real life scenarios and everyday situations. So I hope you enjoy the virtual tour today and that you find it useful. So before heading into the Redwood itself, I do want to talk a bit about the location of the Redwood building. So it's near to many of the university's Hall of Residence and it's based in the heart of the Cates Park campus, meaning it's got great access to the university's central buildings, such as the Students Union and the newly built Centre for Student Life. Um, so it's got places to go and buy food, to um, go grocery shopping, it's got some pubs. Um, it's also very close to the central libraries in Cardiff, so I like to go to the Arts and Social Library, which is just up the road from the Redwood Building. School is also in a great city location. It's probably about a 10 minute walk from the main shops and nightlife in Cardiff City Centre. And not only that, but just across the road from the Redwood Building is the beautiful 130 acre Butte Park, which is lovely to go and have a walk and have a coffee with your friends, especially if it's sunny outside. So going into the Redwood itself, it's actually named after Theophilus Redwood, who was a Welsh pharmacist and one of the one of the founding members of the Royal Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain. So the Redwood building, um, or just the Redwood as we like to call it, is home to the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences at Cardiff University. It's great to have the entire building dedicated to pharmacy teaching and research. It means it feels a lot more like a home and there's a real sense of community between the students and staff. I certainly like knowing that a lot or pretty much of all of my teaching is done in the Redwood building so I just find that very handy. Um, so just entering into the Redwood building the lobby is the first thing we will see on the way in. Um, so the school has a rich history, over 100 years of teaching research is under its belt, um, but it's also incredibly forward thinking and always think, looking to adapt its teaching and research to benefit the pharmacist of the future, which is why it consistently ranks among the top schools of pharmacy in the UK. So heading down this corridor, we are going to reach the teaching labs. So although the Redwood building itself has a long history, it now contains modern facilities to support our learning as MFARM students. So the course includes a substantial amount of scientific content, including physiology, pharmacy, biochemistry, molecular biology, cell culture, microbiology, and other related subjects. So we do make good use of the science labs in the Redwood building. Um, it's it's great for teaching in practical sessions. Um, you will have practical classes timetabled throughout the MFARM course, starting from pretty much the beginning of first year. And this is one of the main reasons I do enjoy pharmacy. It's not all theory work. We do get chances to apply what we've learnt to practical scenarios. Um, some of the practicals I've done here, I did microbiology in first year um, and I've also done in second year formulation science. So I've made various creams and ointments and different solutions and suspensions. So we do spend a lot of our teaching time in the labs um, and all the lab work covered is um, just to help reinforce what we've learned in the seminars. Moving down further down this corridor, we will reach the Redwood social space. So this is where we get to take a break between any scheduled learning that we might have. There's free Wi-Fi, there's a kitchen area, vending machines, to grab any snacks. Um, it's also just a great way to meet some new people and to socialise. Um, we can chat here about the social side of the school. So, for example, we, um, the WUPSA, which is the Welsh Pharmaceutical Students Association. So the WUPSA is a society run by and for Cardiff M Farm students, and they will hold various um, sporting and social events, um, including an annual charity ball, which has just been, which is good fun. And they just they get involved in health and wellbeing campaigns as well, um, and they help some great causes by raising money for nominated charities. And being a member of WUPSA for me has been a great way for me to get to know people, to meet some new friends on the course. Moving on next to workshop and seminar room. So this is an example of one of our workshop rooms and you'll find a number of these spread across the Redwood building um, over the ground and upper floor. 
Um, so these rooms are these rooms are used for smaller group teaching, um, such as workshops and clinical skills training. So, for example, we would learn how to take a patient's blood pressure. Or recently, I've just um, learnt how to perform an abdominal examination. Um, we are very lucky to have these sessions delivered by the school's leading industry professionals and healthcare practitioners. You'll really enjoy this, the teaching sessions with pharmacy teaching practice, practitioners. So these teacher practitioners are part-time members of teaching staff that also work in pharmacy settings. So that could be hospital or community or even industry sometimes. Um, so again, this is just an opportunity to put all the theory that we've learned into practice and making it more real. And then this is an example of a seminar room, which again is in smaller groups teaching. Um, <coughs> And then we're going to move on to the consultation rooms. So these are the school's consultation rooms, and this is where we learn how to put our pharmacy training into practice. So these rooms replicate real life consultation rooms and provide a great learning environment to prepare us for our careers as pharmacists. So this is where you will practice um, key diagnostic techniques or run through some typical clinical scenarios using role play um, with fellow students or professional medical actors. So I'm just going to pause and talk about some of, um, assessments called OSCEs, which is Objective Structured Clinical Examinations. And this is when tutors will observe you interacting with patients and assess your knowledge, problem solving and communication skills. And I know this can sound a bit scary, but these assessments really do help us to develop our skills and confidence for clinical practice. The consultation rooms do also have the infamous Sim Man, which is a human patient stimulator. So he has realist, he has realistic anatomy and clinical functionality. So again, just a way to test our clinical problem solving and decision making skills. <clears throat> So we're now going to head upstairs to the first floor where you'll find the school's education and students office. So the school team are really helpful and friendly and are there to help you with your timetable, exams or any any questions you have during your studies at the Redwood. I'm going to pause here and take this chance to talk about um, more support offered by the Redwood, which um, is personal tutors and student mentors. So in week one of your first year, you'll be allocated a personal tutor who you will get to know really well, ha uh, meet up with them regularly, chat about how you're getting on and reflect on your learning and development. Um, on top of this, you'll also be allocated a student mentor during your first year who will be a senior MFARM student. Um, in my first year, my student mentor offered me some great support, not only regarding the work or any questions I had, um, but just university life in general, how to adapt to university life, um, how to sort out houses for second year, where the best locations were. Um, so it's just really nice knowing that there is support all around us and any concerns that we might have, there's plenty of people that we can go and see. So we're going to move on now to the lecture theatres. So there's two lecture theatres, which is the Vernon Lloyd Lecture Theatre on the ground floor and the Paul Spencer Lecture Theatre on the upper floor, which is this one. So some of our lectures take place in the lecture theatres like these and others take place online. Either way, our lectures cover all aspects of pharmacy from drug discovery and development all the way through to drug delivery and pharmacy practice in a variety of settings. I personally prefer online lectures um, I feel like it's a lot more flexible I can pause videos I can go back to the resources um, and just access the material and content in my own time um, our in-person teaching is often in smaller groups through workshops and stuff like that um, this is a computer lab, which is a space for us to use the computers do any group work that we want to do um, Fourth years students normally use this a lot to write up their research projects, so it's just really good knowing that we have that space and facility to use. Um, Cardiff School of Pharmacy has an international reputation for the quality of its research and um, a number of exciting research projects take place here in the research lab. So as an undergraduate student, you'll benefit from this because world leading researchers both shape and teach the MPharm programme. 
So that is the Redwood Building. I just want to talk about, a bit about teaching outside the Redwood Building. Um, so the school is part of the university's College of Biomedical and Life Sciences, which is also home to the schools of medicine, dentistry, optometry, psychology, and healthcare, which involves, which covers nursing, physiotherapy, and many more. So this means some of your teaching will happen outside of the Redwood Building. So you'll experience some teaching sessions alongside other students from other schools. So in pretty much at the beginning of first year, um, I went up to the Heath campus and did a basic life session with the medical students. Um, and it's just a very good opportunity to see what it's like to work as part of a multidisciplinary team, just like qualified pharmacists are required to do. Um, I also got to do um, some work with dentistry students last week. So we did a role play scenario um, and it's just a really good opportunity to understand the strengths and the weaknesses of the pharma pharmacy profession, as well as those of other healthcare professionals um, that you are going to work alongside in the future. Um, on top of this, in each year of your course, you will go on professional placements and benefit from real life hands on experience in a variety of relevant settings. Um, so over the four years, you'll get a chance to experience firsthand what it's like to work at all the major healthcare settings. So that will include community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy and primary care GP practices. Um, I have just done two days in a surgery in Newport where I got to not only observe the role of the pharmacist, but I also got to observe a lot of different roles within the surgery and get an understanding of how a GP practice all come together to, to work together and improve pharmaceutical care. Um, during your placements, um, you'll meet patients with a wide spectrum of health conditions and you work alongside other healthcare practitioners to actively support these patients. Um, the two days placements I've had already have really helped me to build my confidence and I'm really excited to attend more placements and I feel like it will really help me prepare and excite me for my pre-reg year which is going to be in practice. Um, so that is the tour of the Redwood building done, um, home, of Cardiff, home of Cardiff School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. It's hard to convey the sense of community we feel in this building but we hope you'll join us soon and get to feel at home here too. We wish I wish you every success with your studies and future career, and I hope to see you soon. And thank you for listening. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Matt Smith, and I'm the director of learning and teaching in the school. And I'm a pharmacist, and I wanted to show you around our clinical simulation facility. So come with me. Okay. So welcome to our simulation okay. board. Here you can see we have four high fidelity simulation yes, mannequins. I can see well. Where, thanks, Alex. <laughs> where we teach thanks. our students clinical skills, and that's really important because we're preparing our students on the M Farm program to be independent prescribers. So why don't we introduce you all to Alex? Hi, Alex. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's good to know. How are you today? I've been better. Oh, what seems to be the problem? All right. What seems to be the problem, Alex? My chest feels heavy and it hurts. How painful is it? It's pretty bad, like six out of 10 now. When it started, it was maybe a four. I thought it might just be indigestion, but it's getting worse. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it's getting worse. That means a lot, thank you. No problem at all. So. I'm going to go and get one of uh, my colleagues to have a look at you and to do some investigations, if that's okay. Sounds fine. Thank you. Great. We'll see you soon. Okay. So as you can see, we can have our students interacting with uh, Alex, can talk to Alex, can question him about his medication, and can undertake a number of physical examination skills in order to prescribe medicines safely and appropriately. 